What is going on everybody, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, I'm going to be completing the unboxing and also the comparison of the fake Samsung Galaxy Note 7 with the real Galaxy Note 7. And we're going to start it from the box as we usually do it. That's because a lot of guys out there are selling these as originals and you guys need to be aware that these replica exist. That way you don't get scammed with hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now, I really wish that I could provide the link of these replicas because if you buy them knowing that it is a replica and you're going to be using it for yourself and not reselling it to scam other people, I guess that's quite okay. But unfortunately, YouTube does not allow me to enter links any longer. Otherwise, my account may be closed. So getting a look on the left hand side, we have the original box for the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. This is the T-Mobile model and my wife actually upgraded to it. I decided to get it for her because the blue color is very popular out there. And then here we have the fake box and it is claimed to be the black sapphire even though we had the blue color version inside so the box is not correct. Now this time the fonts got a lot better from the first replica that I received of the Samsung Galaxy S7. We can see the fonts are almost identical with the exception that the original box is a little bit, I would say, glossier than the fake box. And on the left hand side here we have something very similar with the exception that this is the original T-Mobile model and this is claiming to be the International Duals model which comes with two SIM cards. Unfortunately, this one is only a single SIM, single standby and yes, I'm talking about the replica. On the back side, we're going to find here uh, some specific information about each device. Of course, the one from T-Mobile is giving us a lot of information while the fake one is only giving us the basics. And no, this is not a waterproof device. It doesn't have 64 gigabytes of internal memory and it doesn't have wireless charging. So just keep those in mind. So now let's go ahead and unbox both of them, even though the original is actually right here, it's not inside of the box. So let me just go ahead and switch this around so that way you guys don't get confused. This is the real box and this is the fake box. Now, when you slide it off, you can notice that both of them are quite smooth. Okay, now the original actually is a little bit harder to get it off, as you guys can see. So I guess that if you're buying one of these, just make sure that you pay attention to all the details on the box because they are getting closer and closer. Now, as I mentioned before, and even on other videos, these Chinese people, they tend to, um, you know, get perfected on replica products. So that means that they will keep working and keep working until they reach the maximum perfection and even on the phone. So that's why they're bringing now or simulating to bring now the um, edge models and such because they want to make it as real as possible. So here we can see that after opening that little cover, we have the Samsung logos and on the top, the colors are almost identical with the exception that the real box is a little bit better in quality than the uh, fake box. And we know that already. So let me go ahead and open this one. Um, again, we don't have the phone on here, but I just want to show you the covers and everything. So this is the little divider and I just dropped it, but you guys saw that. Um, SIM card that I never used from T-Mobile. And then inside here we have the manuals and stuff with the little SIM popper, something that we would not see on the replica. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Um, we got here the fast charger. We also have some tools and the wire is not in here but it is the standard uh, USB type C wire in case you guys want to know and we do have here the earphones and that's pretty much all we get on the original device now on the replica one here we're going to see the actual phone let me go ahead and set this uh, manuals and everything aside that way we don't get confused so this is the replica and first of all looking at it from the front you can notice that the sticker is not the same as the one we would get on the original product now keep in mind that they are pretending that this is the duals model i guess it's the international model so i'm not sure if this is how you know you will get it if you buy the international model but um here the information actually the sentences do not make sense like open my samson will play a limit your samson device that doesn't make sense at all but you guys get the idea on the back side here, we have nothing but just another sticker covering the Samsung logo. I guess that this is so that custom doesn't seize it, but you know, these guys are not stupid. So here we have that similar divider. Now this one is of course of cheaper quality. We do have here the manuals and stuff, but like I said before, it doesn't come with the same ejector tool just as we saw on the original product. And then quickly after this, we have the earphones. They're not the same quality. These are basically the older model, like the Samsung Galaxy S6, the Samsung Galaxy S5 and such. It's not going to be the same style as the original one. Now here we have the charger. And as you guys can tell, this is not the quick charger. This is the basic 1M charger. So don't expect anything to be exactly the same as the original. And as you guys know, replicas don't have the same hardware. So 
Um, I have to give credit to the Chinese for trying to replicate it. I mean, if they can make a replica of a Samsung Galaxy Note 7, they probably have the technology to build something of their own, of very, very nice quality, and even better than Samsung. So, I really don't understand why they had to replicate products. I mean, I could understand that a lot of people cannot afford the original, but if you're going to make a replica, make it with nice specifications so that it compares to the original product, even if you have to increase the price for a couple hundred dollars. But anyways, um, here we have the accessories for the replica and that's all we see and that's all we're going to get. So let me go ahead and um, clean this up so that we can talk more about the phone itself. Okay, so now getting back here to the phone, we can notice I have the original one here on the left hand side. I'm going to be comparing it in just a moment. So let me go ahead and get started by removing the front protector on the replica. And as you guys can see, it comes already dirty. I guess this is all Chinese fingerprints and stuff. And on the back side, let's go ahead and remove once again this little cover. This one is a little bit harder to remove. Now here obviously we find the Samsung logo together with the camera, the heart rate sensor which is fake but it, it pretends to work as the original. We got the LED flash and on the bottom side here is um, absolutely plain. Now I have to give some credit to the Chinese because they made this actually quite nice when you're looking at it physically. Of course the operating system is going to be a different story but looking at it physically it's almost identical here to the original device with the exception of the sensors on the top. They're not going to be the same. We know that with the original device we get iris scanning that's why we have the extra camera on there and also the extra sensor and now with the replica it's going to be similar but we know that the extra sensor is probably because it's not going to have the same technology we had the proximity and light sensor and i think that's the only two sensors that are hidden here on the original samsung galaxy note 7 which is these two little dots that you see here on the left hand side of the speaker and there we can see the logos they are almost identical with the exception that on the replica one the fonts are a little bit bigger and while they boot up i'm going to show you here the entire phone physically including the frame but I just want to wait here until the boot animation finishes and as we can tell the original is going to be a lot faster that's because we have a different processor this one is running on the MTK 65A0 it has the Mali 400 it comes with supposedly 2 gigabytes of RAM it has the Android Lollipop 5.1 even though it's faking to have the Android Marshmallow 6.0 that's not going to be correct and the battery on the fake one is about 1800 milliamps and on the original is about, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 3200 milliamps. So there's a big difference there in the battery side, but anyways, both of them already started. And here we can see how they both compare on the operating system. They are very, very similar. We do have the same toggles on the bottom side. But now the animations, of course, are going to be a little bit different. Keep in mind, guys, that these two have different hardware, so they don't work internally the same way so I think that again I have to give the Chinese a lot of credit for making something so similar so on the left hand side here we can see we have the volume rockers up and down the frame on the fake one is a little bit thicker on the top we got the sim cards now this is a single sim single standby device so it's not going to be the dual model like they are claiming in the box on the bottom side there we have the USB type C ports and this is cool because I have seen other replicas with the micro USB the older one we have the headphone jacks we also have the loudspeakers together with the microphone and finally the S Pen so on the back side here we have the cameras one of them has an 8 megapixel sensor camera which is the fake one the original one we know that it comes with a 12 megapixel sensor camera able to record in 4k and much more has optical image stabilization and all that good stuff that we enjoy from the cameras of Samsung so you also find there the high rate monitors they look quite similar with the exception of the flash on the original one is uh, I would say of a lot more quality than the fake one and on the bottom we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 written for the T-Mobile model and on the fake one it doesn't have it now keep in mind that in some countries uh, when they ship these sometimes they don't have the Galaxy Note 7 written on the bottom so that's not a way to identify if it's a fake or not just keep that in mind Okay, now getting them compared here on the operating system, they are quite similar. As a matter of fact, they both have the OK Google feature. There we go. You can see the replica just got activated. I guess since I was speaking too fast, the original one didn't get activated. But yes, it is there and that's something cool, something that a lot of replicas don't have. So you are forced to download the Google Now launcher. But this particular one does not need it. So getting a look here at the um, applications itself, we can see that they are almost identical with the exception that since we have a smaller screen here on the fake Galaxy Note 7, it is a bit smaller, but that's not, you know, a significant uh, difference. Now, keep in mind that if you guys have never seen a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and you are prompted with one of these in the streets, they can almost pass as the original because they are very well made. 
Now, something that I haven't paid attention to is the uh, little curve here on the side. This is fake. This is a flat screen, but they made it believe like you have a curved display by um, adding some, um, you know, some little tricks on the glass and makes it seem like you have a curved display, but that's not going to be the case with this replica. Now, also keep in mind that this is the first one out there in the market or actually the second one out there in the market because the first one comes with the crappy uh, MTK um, 6582 or something like that so it's not going to be the same as this particular model which is the 65A0 it is a 64-bit processor so it is a slightly better than the first one that came out so let's go ahead and take a look here at the um, app drawer you can see that again they are very similar now keep in mind that this one has a lot of bloatware from T-Mobile that's because this is the T-Mobile model something that we're not going to see here on the replica but let's go ahead and open here this little tab that says Samsung you can see some of the apps on there and let's go ahead and do the same thing here of course the original has a lot more applications than the fake one as you guys can tell now something like the heart rate monitor does pretend to work i'm not sure yet if it's fake or if it's real but every time i put in my uh, index finger you can see that it is reading it if i let it go it turns orange so i guess it has some sort of uh you know sensor on there but again i'm not sure if it's real and i actually used it before and it gave me 81 beats per minute so that sounds quite you know quite okay so now saying that I have 65 beats per minute, so as you guys can see, it's a different result from the one that I got before. Maybe I am too relaxed right now. So anyways, there we have it here for the comparison of the Samsung apps. Let's go back here to the app drawers and let's compare the rest. We got there the Google apps. Now I'm assuming that on the replica we have less. I already noticed that we don't have YouTube on there, okay? And we only have four here and we have about nine here, so that's a big difference. Now keep in mind that you can always download them from the Google Play Store. Now talking about the Google Play Store, this one came installed already with it, something that we have seen that other replicas don't carry it, like the iPhone replicas, they usually don't carry it and that's a big problem because the way they um, you know, modify the system makes it almost impossible to install it yourself. But anyways, with this particular replica, it's actually there and you don't have to worry about anything else. And I'm also connected to the Wi-Fi and surprisingly it has all the signal bars, so that's something that we don't see on replicas every single day. Now also something that I like about this replica here is that the battery does last a long time even though it is only 1800 milliamps. Uh, for some reason maybe because we have a 720p display on here and this is a 5.5 inch and I guess that it is using the MTK65A0 that helps it save a lot of battery. So here we have the Play Store like I said before it is working just fine. Um, I haven't downloaded you know any major games on here because I'm pretty sure it's going to lag. Keep in mind that again this is the MTK65A0 so nothing really extreme. Uh, let's go here into the Antutu benchmark and I haven't done any testing on it but usually this processor gets about um, almost 30,000 sometimes it gets 20,000 of score so that's nothing impressive. If you go here into info we're going to see some of the stuff is actually true this is not a Samsung device. Um, it's actually made by Alps. It's a weird Chinese uh, company name that I have never heard before but every single replica that comes to the market has the brand as Alps but this time it says Samsung. Um, also we can see there the Mali is the 400. We have a 720p display with the MTK65A0. The camera is absolutely fake. This is not a 12.2 megapixel sensor. This is actually um, an 8 megapixel sensor. The front camera is about 2 or maybe 1.3 megapixels. So again some of this stuff has been faked. Now here we're going to see the operating system is claiming to be surprisingly the Android SDK 23 and as we know the 23 is for the real Android Marshmallow so maybe we do have the real Android Marshmallow on here and not the lollipop. Now according to iBaby he says that this is fake but I never seen how they can fake this information here because usually um, you know they can't. So so far it's reading it as the Android Marshmallow maybe it is maybe it is not. NFC is not supported on here, something that we do have on the original device, so unfortunately it's not going to be supported on the replica. And the rest of the information is right here for the sensor, so it's not going to be supporting the same ones as we will see on the um, original device. So with this being said, let's go ahead and jump here into the little task killer. Let's see how similar they are. And as we can tell, the animation is a little bit different, but the concept is pretty much the same. You just swipe to the left or the right and you kill the app same thing we can do with the original one or we can just close them all like I'm gonna do right now also we got here on the top the toggles so here obviously we can see we have more notifications on the uh, Note 7 and that's because right now um, 
you know, she has accounts on here. She has her SIM card. Well, I don't have it on here. Now, talking about the SIM card, I do get 3G with T-Mobile and also AT&T. Uh, this is not a 4G LTE device as of right now. For that, we're going to have to wait maybe a few months or so. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump back to the subject here. We got all the toggles on the top. They slide the same way. As a matter of fact, this one, we have to customize it to add more on there. But you guys get the idea. This is almost the same. Now let's go here into settings and we're gonna see how close they get. So on the top there we got connect, while on the original is connections. And let me see if I can increase the brightness on this one as it does look a little bit, there we go. I think that's a lot better. So uh, as you guys can see here we have connections, sounds and vibration, very similar here. Now the names of the settings are quite different. Now keep in mind that this fake one does not have a fingerprint scanner unfortunately. Uh, let's go here into about phone on the fake one. We know that the real one has the uh, Andrew Marshmallow, but uh, here it is claiming to have it as well. Let's see if maybe I can start playing. Um, let's see, three, two, one, doom, doom. Actually, it does appear to have the Andrew Marshmallow. So you guys can see it doesn't have the lollipops. I'm not sure. I'm sorry for the focus. So there we go. We have a question mark. We actually don't have a score. And it keeps playing by itself. So yeah, this is definitely a fake Android uh, marshmallow. It's actually the lollipop. So somehow they were able to fake it even on the Intuitive Benchmark test. So that's quite surprising. As you guys know, they are getting better and better on making these little fake phones. And let me tell you, it almost tricked me. So let's go ahead and check here the uh, general management for language and input. We can see we have some languages supported on here. It's about 48 of them if I'm not mistaken and on the original we do have about the same let's go ahead and check that actually no we have about I would say 11 of them on here so this is you know supposed to be the international model so of course it's going to act like it has all the languages supported which is really nice the next thing we're going to compare here briefly is going to be the edge screen let me go ahead and get it activated here on the original device and now we're going to do the same thing on the replica device I know it's a little bit hard to do them both with one hand so um, here I'm struggling right now there we go and we got it activated on here they are quite similar and for the most part they work almost the same with the exception that the original one is a lot smoother to work on so here if I continue scrolling to the side she has her contacts already saved on here which is people edge but they are quite similar um, this is where it changes a little bit on this one it says task edge and this one says internet so there's a big difference right there and this one actually is giving us about uh, three options while this one is giving us about six options so we got the flashlight here I'm pretty sure that you can customize the original to make it look exactly the same so this is how the flash looks um, let's continue to go to the side we have the weather on here we have the Yahoo News and then it goes back here to the first page so yes the similarities are definitely there now let's go ahead and talk here quickly about the S Pen. Um, of course this one is going to be a lot smoother and as you guys can see I have uh, the option to hover around and it gives me the option to click. Also this one comes with the, you know, with the real button and that's something that we're not going to see on the replica one. And as I said before this one doesn't click unfortunately you have to stick your nail on there. But the options are almost identical. But like I said before you can hover around and some of the features you know they work quite similar. I'm not going to go through all of them because honestly that'll take me like 40 minutes or so um, you know before it can get done but you guys get the idea this one is giving us so far uh, for them and this one already has six. Now something I don't see is the option to add more like we see on the original product so uh, this is a good way to spot that you have a fake but again they are super super close. Now the quality on the S Pen, let me go ahead and set this aside here. The quality is actually quite impressive on the replica. This is completely made of aluminum. This one is made of a plastic material. Now the button here, the little clicker is fake. And we do have there the Samsung logos, as you guys can tell. Now the size is not the same, so you can't fit them on the original product and vice versa. So don't even try it, otherwise you may run the risk of damaging your phone. Our next little comparison here is going to be with the camera. I'm just going to use the screen on the device even though it's not a fair comparison but that way you guys can get an idea of how they look like. We can see here that um, all the animations are almost identical so we're going to have very similar features. Now of course the original camera is a lot better. It's actually way better. Colors are more realistic. The stabilization is definitely better. But again, for this to be a what, $120 replica is not that bad honestly. So here we can see from the box 
This one, the replica actually out of focus by itself, and this one does it automatically without even having to touch the screen, but the quality here is not the same as the original device, and we can know that already. So right now I'm trying to focus, and this one seems to be a little bit more blurry than the original one. So the camera side, of course, the original is going to be way better, but keep in mind that this is an $800 phone versus a $150 phone. So it's not really a fair comparison, but I just decided to bring it up so that way you guys can see what's the difference between a fake one and a real one. Okay, now something that I want to do before I end this video with the comparison and the unboxing here of this fake uh, device, I want to show you the speaker quality between the real one and the fake one. So right now I have open for copyright purposes my own video of the iPhone 7 clone and you guys can see that I have the same thing on here. So what I'm going to do is play it a little bit here on the, um, on the real one and again do the comparison of the speaker. So here we go. Okay, so there we heard a little bit of the speaker quality on the real one. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing here with the fake one. Alright, so there we heard the speaker quality on each device and of course the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 original is a lot better than the replica. That is suspected, but keep in mind guys that the price difference here is quite dramatic. This one is $750 plus tax plus the case is about $800 in total and this one is about $120 plus the case plus the shipping fee so it comes to be about $150 so that's you know $650 difference. So to me that's quite dramatic and for the Chinese to be able to almost replicate you know the entire phone is quite amazing just be careful out there guys when you purchase things you know outside of the Samsung stores or outside of a carrier store because you can get scammed very very easily so with this being said we have completed the unboxing and the comparison of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 fake with the original device and if you guys have any questions you know exactly what to do just leave your comments below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so don't forget to like this video share and comment and the giveaway winner is coming um, on the next video and also the new giveaway for the month of October. Well guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one.